launched at Spanish, and we've buzzed around, and we started the trip and went over to this island. There's a nice little beach. Checked out this nice little harbor, which came in handy. We continued along, and the last video of this series I, I showed coming through down to the end. Now, we're going to check out this little... So the one year we made it in around here and down into this little pocket, and that's as far as we could go because the water wasn't high enough. This year, a swamp run through here was, was amazing. And then to come to this end and have a perfect little parking spot for the houseboat and 100% shelter, as you can tell, but to have here a gorgeous beach that was just uh, beyond beautiful. Okay, here's the channel. And there's the, I'll just turn and you see, there's the other little, little dead end right there that we always go into. But I'm mostly interested in this one. Slow up because there's rocks. So you'd think this is a swampy little dead end. And technically it is. Oh, there is another opening over here, but there's a nice rock shelf. Uh, you can see the little blueberries growing that is indicating you don't want to go that way. Uh, we might walk the boat through or, or row it through, but not with the motor. Okay, I'm gonna put the motor up. We were fairly good centered. Oh, there's a, a water snake right there, scooting along. <laughs> Something scooted across. Another water snake. Where? Over there, back there. Yeah. Yeah. It dove and then went across. So it's water snake heaven here, it seems. Well, they go the other way, plainly. That's evidence, right? Oh, the wind's streaming through here. So I expect big waves at the beach. Last time we went, it was so calm. How pretty is this, though? You're making me nervous. <laughs> These talking deadheads. <laughs> oh, baby duck. Just popped up and went back down. Oh, there. It went up. Oh, I turned the camera over to the other side, and he ended up popping up and going down the other way. Yeah. Oh, there he is again. I think you're getting it on the fringes. I'll just say centered. We're scaring it ahead of us. We don't mean to, but that's the reality of the situation. We're both vying for the same waterway here. Now, this is a little tricky to get through, if I recall. Not terrible, but there. We, we weaseled the engine through all this uh, weedy stuff. That's good. What do you mean? This be oh okay. Well, well we'll see. We'll see. This might Yeah, maybe. So you have a little private lagoon here, which could be buggy most times and no doubt is. But I'd I'd also point out that if there's if there's a breeze through um through the bay side, you're not gonna, once you pull up, you're not gonna have many bugs. And while it gets shallow right in here. One, one stick over. One birch branch over. Bam. And here we are. You want me to turn it off? Turn, yeah, the motor? Sure. Oh, it's not even windy, Roy. There's a balloon over there, a star balloon. Oh, look, 
Go get it? No, just go I will get it. Okay. Sure, Point. <laughs> Over there. Okay, there. Okay. Now smile. Turn and smile. <laughs> Check this swamp scene out. Oh, yes. I know. It's hot. Now. Okay. So, D wants me to get the balloon. No, don't get it. Just... Yeah. Well, you want me to get it, right? We usually clean up our beaches. Sorry? Oh, ho, ho, ho. is today Father's Day? Happy Father's Day. Have a look at this. Deep plan this all for me. Oh, she's so sweet. Happy Father's Day on, on my favorite beach. Check this out. Okay, I'm so thrilled because it actually turned out just fine today, eh, Dee? Wow. Wow. Well, we'll definitely go for a swim here. Sorry? <laughs> it's a Roy town. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day balloon. Yay. Cool. Look at this pretty flower. How nice is that, eh? Look at this nice one. Oh, my tripod's getting caught. Oh, it's floating around back there. I don't imagine too many other people would come in here. Yes, there was a bear heading our way. Not here. Yeah, hopefully not. Well, I would imagine he could travel good time. <laughs> Double time. So, here we are. Yeah, you can put the towel. I'm going to put the towel closer out in the water. In okay, case so I need to run for the towel. So, towel holders out in the water. It's a real resort. Oh, there's another beach on the other side of that rock. Yeah, what a beautiful spot. Anyway, there's another beach over there. Have a look at that. Might go take a walk over to that. Hmm. This is where everybody could come. Ah, uh, D, look at the surf line. Oh, yeah. You know, this this is exposed to the uh, to the elements. Mm -hmm. But everybody could come, well, everybody's shoal draft could come in there mm -hmm. and then uh, then come out for sure. So this is a little piece of heaven. I can't believe we actually got to the backside through this. Just, oh, just beautiful. We just, we just have to get us swimming in this uh, beautiful spot. So it comes with towel holders, I mentioned that, I think. Are you ready? One, two, three, smile. And go see the other beach. So the clouds are coming in. So our timing couldn't have been better. The clouds are coming in, like you mentioned. I know that, but I'm saying on the camera, I'm not talking to you, <laughs> that the timing couldn't be better. Look at this. We had our swim in the sun. We'll go for a little walk and then uh, we'll have some lunch. Oh, yeah, well, well. And again, another view of the, of the boat out here. How cool. <laughs> I love this spot.
Sorry? Oh, the sand is gorgeous, eh? Oh. It's uh, the end of a kayak. You stick it on the end of the kayak. That might be of value to Tim. Yeah. We'll, we'll pick it up on our way back to yeah. shore. Yeah, yeah. Beach combing. So that's, um, you stick that on the end and it's your skeg on a kayak. So we'll have to, we have to walk right by, well, might have been a little harder for them to steer. Might have been a little harder for them to go straight. Because I want to make a little uh, collapsible dinghy, mm -hmm. so I might use it yeah. as part of the collapsible concept. I might tag it on the end. Yeah. To your throat? It's under my arms. I didn't know you were that much shorter than I was. No, it's the my. Well, it's certainly a perfect little break spot to take a break. And I wonder, I guess that's swampy in here too. In the back, lots of blueberries, I see. Or something. Bit swampy. Oh, oh careful, there's roots there. I'm not looking where I'm going. I don't want to trip. There goes the camera. See these stubby roots? Look at that. Yeah, that's, yeah. I know, there was one over Yeah, there. so I guess, I guess I gotta watch where I'm walking. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we can get over there and I can take a picture from the beach uh, distance-wise. You know what I mean? Oh, I was wondering. So we were way over there by Dee's pink jacket. And that's how far we're making it. And all beautiful sand. Makes you wonder if there's actually some drainage out from from that. Oh, a big, uh, big lure. Is it a good lure? Wash, wash it, rinse it. Oh, it is too. Well, why go shopping? Oh, wow, that's a nice Careful, one. just yeah, don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't uh, stab yourself now, otherwise you'll regret it. Mm -hmm. Look. Wow, that is a nice one. Hmm, just wow. have to check if the points are sharp, but yeah. you can file them. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Nice, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, see, it comes right around here. So it must come out over here, up against that rock. I was wondering, I thought, how, how could it not drain, right? Here, here's where it drains, right here. The, the other side, the two sides. This is where it meets up. Because right. I, I thought, how does it not drain, right? right? That it just comes to a beach and ends. Mm -hmm. Beaver cut down stuff oh, yeah. Oh. Beaver's in heaven for the moment yeah. until all these trees are dead and the, and, the, and the nice stuff he likes to eat is, uh, oh, yeah. oh, is all dead. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go. There's dragonflies. Watch it. There's a branch across here. Okay. Oh yeah. There's lots of branches. So I'm I'm not gonna risk tripping. In this instant. But how cool is this? Yeah. See, once the trees are dead, the beaver doesn't need them. For the lodge, yes. But edibles, no. They eat off the bark. You see. And the bark has to be green.
Oh, that's a beaver. That's a beaver. He's making... Okay, you can hear it. It goes... He's, he's clanking his teeth together. Yeah. Oh, no. Our imaginations. It's the water slapping underneath oh. the... Sometimes beavers clench their oh. uh, clench their because teeth been quiet, and make noise. Yeah. Well, that or splash the tail and dive, right? But sometimes they chatter to their teeth, so that's what I thought it was. Sorry? Maybe. Was a mosquito. Oh, beautiful birch is in there. Look at that. Let's take a picture through here. Get in between the branches. Remember, we got to pick up this plastic thing. Potential, right there. Hmm. Little piece of heaven here, I have to admit. Okay, and here we are with my Father's Day balloon <laughs> on the back. Too funny. So we're finding lots of gizmos, a big bumper, uh, a balloon up there, and uh, a skeg. Cool. <laughs>